Welcome to Red V TV, supported by Chapel House for the 2023 Super League season. As we continue our build up to the new campaign, and with seven days to go until the World Club Challenge against the Penrith Panthers, it is the turn, Kevin. It's our number seven. It's Lewis Dodd. It's the Mercurial Lewis Dodd. And Lewis is proudly sponsored by Callisto Wealth. Callisto are independent financial planners helping the people of St. Helens and Liverpool live the life they want in retirement. I've already said I want them to let me know how to manage my lottery winnings. <laughs> that tenor, you won't get very far on it, they've already said. Good advice. <laughs> um, He's like a new signing, Kev, isn't he? He is. He is. That's it. Um, we're filming this straight after the game against St. George. Um, we wax lyrical in the um, instant fan reaction about him, but you're right. It's like getting a brand new half back in. Um, he's looking sharp. He's looking like he's he's ready to make up for, for lost time, doesn't he? Now, uh, it, I think it's fair to say what the club thinks of him, what Paul Wellens thinks of him, the fact that he has gone straight back into the halves. Um, his injury last season um, curtailed his, his year pretty early on. He's had to spend a lot of time on the, on the sidelines doing his rehab, but it, it generally looks like he's never been away. Um, he'll have been better for that cameo last season. Um, and this morning, we've watched him against St. George. He didn't miss a beat. Good kicking game. Directed us round the field, allowed Jack Wellsby to go back into full back, giving us a, a threat in another position, and it only aids the team, doesn't it? It certainly does. That's it. He, he kind of plays a little bit beyond his years, doesn't it? You'd think he was a thirty-one rather than twenty-one year old halfback because he he plays with his head up. He's not scared of trying something. So, again, we're talking about it after the St George game, where he's floating the ball out to his winger instead of just ferrying it on to the next man. He's all lively. He'll take the line on. He'll kick. He'll run. He'll pass. He'll dummy. There was, a, like, the little double pump before he's put it over. Listen, he's he's potentially got everything to be a world-class halfback. It's going to be a lot of hard work for him to get there because he's very, very good at the moment. And for him to just keep going and keep going, nobody wants to put pressure on him. And I think the pressure will just come from himself. But I think he's got that that personality that he knows that he's a good player and he knows that he can get better. And I'm sure, I'm 100% sure he will do in a Saints shirt. Feel Kev like we haven't got a lot to say about Lewis because we know how good he is. We 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 just have to pray that he doesn't. It, it, listen, it's bad luck. The, the injury he got last season, pure bad luck. We just hope um, somebody slipped him a rabbit's foot. And yeah. remember when people used to have a rabbit's foot and used to carry it round as luck. I hope there's one yeah. of them in his boot bag. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You, you're right. He's he gets a horrific injury like that, uh, puts him out for the year. Listen, it, it puts him a little bit in cotton wool as well. He's been given the number seven shirts at Saints. Um, he's been told that he's first choice scrum half. If he does drop out for a couple of games to manage his workload, I'm not against that. Um, because we have got people who can back up. So if we saw different combinations in the halves, such as him and Jack Wellsby, while well, Johnny has a week off. Jack Wellsby and Johnny, while well, he has a week off. I'm not I'm not averse to seeing that every so often just to kind of manage workloads. Danny Moss and Doddy at some point. Danny Moss and Doddy, Danny Moss and Johnny Lomax, absolutely fine with that because it's about managing workloads and not necessarily pushing your players to the to the limit and then breaking them and taking them beyond. We're good at that as a club where we manage people and we don't necessarily push them too much. You see with decisions that have been made over like Alex Walmsley with his foot, he probably could have played on last season, but then he does himself a bigger mischief and, and misses out. Lewis Dodd, this will be, yes, a managed return, but managed that he's he's fit enough to go and play out in Oz. He was fit enough for his cameo against Witness. He'll be fit enough for next week, hopefully, as long as he doesn't pick anything up. He's not picked anything up. 
So as long as we we do kind of look after him as well, he doesn't need to play every week, even though, you know what, they're the type of players that you do turn up to watch. Yeah. I think that's doggy done and dusted. Let's hope he yep. turns it on against Penrith next week and, and leads Saints to glory. Kev, thank you for joining me. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll be back tomorrow um, to preview our number six. I'm not sure who he is, but we'll find out tomorrow. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.